हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम वी विल बी बिल्डिंग ए रैंडम पासवर्ड जनरेटर काइंड ऑफ ए एप्लीकेशन इनसाइड सी शार्प विंडोज फॉर्म सो बेसिकली इट विल बी जनरेटिंग अ रैंडम पासवर्ड फॉर यू सो दिस विल बी द एप्लीकेशन वी विल बी बिल्डिंग हियर सो लेट मी जस्ट लॉन्च द एप्लीके विजुअल स्टूडियो सो इफ यू आर वॉचिंग इट फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम देन प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन सो लेट मी जस्ट wait for the viewers to join in so if you are watching it for the very first time in this live stream we will be building a random password generator so here we will create a new project here simply click a new project so here we will be selecting windows form application and here we will be giving a name to it so which will be random password generator so i will click next and click on create so this will create the project for us so this is random password generator kind of a desktop app which we will develop inside c sharp dot net framework windows form so the project is just uh, creating it so just wait so you now you can see now we have the simple form here so here we can simply say we can add some widgets here which is label so this label will be for options and here we will put the checkbox widget checkbox so we will copy this paste it three more times so so we will uh, change this label name to options and this one i will change the name to lower case so i will change this to lower case characters and this one this will be upper case so i will change the name to upper case and this will be for numeric characters numeric only numbers and this will be for special characters so these are the four check boxes so if you just check these check boxes then your password will be strong so after this we will have a simple text box widget i will drag and drop so here we can enter the password length so i will copy this one more time and paste it here so here the generated password will be shown to the user and we will have a label simply have a label here so here we will see password length i will copy paste it one more time this will be the generated password i will change the value here which is uh, uh, password length and then we have this is uh, generated password so this will be generated password this is password length so we can resize the window accordingly how you go want to so you will see that your window is resized and uh, now our interface is ready here so if i launch this application you will see this is the interface so basically here you can check mark these options and if you now provide a value let's suppose 6 uh, six length of the password and we want a simple button to generate the password so we will say inside our toolbox we will drag and drop a button which will say simply say generate password so this button text will i will say generate password so this is the now interface is now complete so you can see we have now a button so if you provide a length if you check mark these option click generate password then the password will be generated here 
So now we simply need to hook up the functionality in the backend. So simply I will go to the backend here. So right here we need to declare some variables right here at the top. So these variables are constant. So const string and first will be lowercase in all capital. So this will be equal to all the characters which are available A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I all the characters so I will just write all the characters in the keyboard so put a semicolon and same we will do this for uppercase as well this time this will be in capital letters so so like this and now we will have for so this needs to be surrounding in double quotes so just make sure that you don't use single quotes because in C sharp you need to use double quotes so after this guys we will have the numeric characters so this will be for numeric so this will contain all, all the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 as well And then we will contain the special characters which is uh, special underscore characters. So this will all be all the characters that you see inside your so inside your keyboard. So special two people are watching the stream guys. So here in this tutorial we are developing the uh, random password generator kind of application. So so here we will just paste all the characters that you will need here so like this these are the symbols so I will just write all these symbols here so, so just write these all symbols here So all these symbols which are there. So put a semicolon. So these are all the special characters which are there guys. So you can see that. So I think some of the symbols are not allowed. Uh, let me just see here. Fox learn random password generator C sharp so there is a if you can see yes let me copy this yes paste it here so now we have the special characters guys so after declaring these four variables we just need to hook up the functionality when we click the button so right click it so when we click this button we need to surround our functionality inside track try catch block so whenever exception occurs exception ex so inside this what we need to do is that we will in the text box one dot and we will initialize the text to it so this will be equal to the password generator so this function we will create it so which will randomly calculate so this function we need to create it so we will create this function so so it will say create this function so we will create this so generate method password generator so now it has created this method so now inside this method we simply need to create the password and return to the user so inside this we will it is saying that hmm, what is the problem make it as static yes yeah, so think some error has taken place let me see two people are watching the stream guys so let me see we will so 
so we will call like this so let me paste it uh, let me just just wait guys i am just showing you how to do do this so this is a method guys you can see that public string so this needs to be public method not private so basically this is the method guys you can see that this needs to be numeric and this needs to be special characters so here we are just calculating the random password and if the checkboxes have been checked by the user then accordingly inside the if condition we are concatenating the password and returning to the user back to the user using this method you can see that so now we need to call this function which is simply the password generator and inside this we will pass So if you see, we will pass the values which are generated. So this is the line that we need to write here. And here we will say checkbox one dot check and this will be checkbox 2 dot tech dot checked and this will be checkbox 3 dot checked and this will be checkbox 4 dot checked and lastly we will have text box 1 dot text and this needs to be text box 2 that's it so after doing this guys hopefully the application is complete if I launch this application by clicking the run button so it is saying some errors have been there let me rectify these errors the name checkbox does not exist in the current syntax So let me see. Oh, sorry, this is checkbox. This is checkbox. I think this is checkbox four. This is checkbox 2. This is checkbox. Let me see that. If this is checkbox 1. This is checkbox 2. Let me just. And let me. So this is checkbox 3 and this is checkbox 4. Let me just rename this. That's it. And this is a text box 1 and this is text box 2. So now if you just see here checkbox. Oh sorry this needs to be capital not like this. So if I run this. So you will see guys. Uh, you can provide the length of the password to be generated here so this will be 10 and if I just click lowercase uppercase click generate password so you will see your password will be generated here you will see that if you provide 20 here like this 
so you will see 20 characters will be there if you provide here uh, 50 characters so 50 characters passwords will be generated so in this way guys you can create a random password generator application inside c sharp dotnet framework using windows form and i will be giving the full source code of this application in the video description so if you want to download all the source code i will copy this source code and write a blog post live on my website so that you can download the source code from the video description so if you are watching it for the very first time guys please subscribe the channel first of all let me paste this code here dot net copy paste here so click on publish so the blog post is published guys I, I will be giving this link in the video description to download all the source code to make advanced uh, random password generator inside your uh, c-sharp application so i will copy this link here and in the description of this live stream i will paste this link so that you can download the source code click save so if you are watching it for the very first time guys please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well and uh, if you have any sort of question you can ask in the comment section and let me tell let me just uh, which kind of videos you want on this channel so I can definitely provide those videos if you want C sharp videos then you can comment C sharp if you want JavaScript you can comment JavaScript and thanks very much guys for watching this video